Excuse me. What do you want? Remember me? Should I? From last night? My sister and brother-in-law were with me. I'm not a visual man. I don't remember faces. They dissolve into fog pretty fast. So you don't remember my sister, Victoria? The two of you talked last night. Victoria, you say? I remember her glasses and name. Did you see her today? No. You've lost her? She lost herself, and we cannot find her. Keep looking and seek help from God. <laughs> or ask someone who thinks to be one. And who would be that fool? Fool? <laughs> Funny you say that, because that's how I call him too. My cousin Norrin. <laughs> the chief of police is your cousin? Dominic Norrin, the feared and respected law of the valley of Sveti Kota. <laughs> I've had a chance to talk with him already. He doesn't seem to know where Victoria is. That means nothing. He's either lying or you're a fool as much as he is. Was there anyone else when he talked to you? Yes. He likes that. He likes to be on the stage in front of a crowd. If I decide to talk to him, where should I go? You'll find him in his office at the police station. It's where he eats, sleeps, and fulfills his needs. Talk to him alone. He's more vulnerable without a crowd. Walk into the police station. His office is the door on the left. Just knock and tell him Davor Gorski has sent you. All right. He won't care, so you'll have to give him a good reason to let you in. Luckily, that reason is in front of your eyes. You? I don't understand. A gift. The cleaver. Right in front of you. A cleaver will make him change his mind? Is this a joke? No joke. It'll wait for you here for whenever, if ever, you decide to talk to the fool. Tell me about the moon ghouls. They will eat your soul and feast over your flesh. You know who they are? A cannibal tribe that follow the moon demons. The moon is the key. In what way? I already said too much. Seek more knowledge elsewhere. What's the story of the bricked up window you have here? Human rats kept breaking in and stealing from me. The alley's pretty dark at night, so it was perfect for them. I couldn't find out who they were, so I decided to poison the food. It worked. It was all right for a while. But then the break-in started again, and I said no more. Walls always work. They divide the sane from the mentally ill, and the rich from the poor. We need walls. Thank you for the background story, sir, but I meant what's the story behind the slips of paper in the wall? <laughs> of course. Of course you meant that. What else would you be interested in after all? I keep them because they amuse me. How so? I laugh at how weak and pathetic my fellow townsfolk are. They bring me lots of joy, especially the ones talking to God. You have a problem with faith? Do I look like a sheep to you? <laughs> this is a madman. No, you do not. Right answer, priest. Right answer. I'm not a priest. I'm not a fool. Where could I get a boat? Are you kidding me? Why? Just walk along the shoreline and pick one up. The town is letting people use them for free to encourage fishing. You can't be serious. The lake is dead. <laughs> I love it! About the boat, what can I do? The only fool to have one is that old fisherman. Dead fisherman? I haven't seen him for a while. Sveti Kotar is a small town. Where do strangers go when they visit? 
Any particular place I should know of? Ah, glad you're asking. I got many recommendations. You should definitely venture into the Carcassa Forest. Its trees are magical this time of year. Then don't miss out on the greatest view of the valley. Climb to the top of the Udav Mountain and enjoy the breathtaking sight. Lastly, take a diving course at the Lake Hali. I mean, forget about people. Don't ask anyone. Just dive. Just do it yourself and enjoy the rich underwater life. Your soul will be grateful. Grateful beyond imagination if you dip your toes into the spring of the Henna River. I feel like you're mocking me. I am. <laughs> Are you a taxidermist? A what? Do you prepare dead animals for fun? I enjoy slaughtering them. I love my job. So you are a butcher? I prefer slaughter man. Why? What's this all about? I was asking myself about that poor pig and its head displayed like a trophy. You have a problem with that? It's missing an eye and... And? I believe it's a mortal sin to torture defenseless animals. <laughs> you know why? Because you are one of them. Like a sheep who follows words and moral codes. You feel endangered, vulnerable, and mortal. It's actually the other way. I feel... You don't feel bad or sorry or sad for that pig. You're terrified because you see your own head on that wall. It's pointless to argue with this man. I have better things to do. Nothing to say. <laughs> Good. What was that huge, horrible thing that was set on fire last night? Tradition. This town has a history of blaming everyone except God. God is never to be blamed. He has his own ways of... Blah, blah, blah. I heard it a thousand times before. People around here blame strangers, good spirits, demons, witches, and even the Vatican. Everyone else except the one they idolize. The Vatican? Crazy thing for a Catholic town, isn't it? But why? And why do you say they should blame God? Look around you. Talk to people. Stay long enough and you'll understand. <laughs> Excuse me. Am I really going to take it? Good, very good, priest. Now go, walk bravely into the Temple of Law. You're bringing a gift. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Only dust remains of the thing that was set on fire last night. White and red squares. A Croatian version of the chessboard. I'm no expert, but I'm pretty confident this is a 15th century map of Europe. Everything in this town revolves around that troubling period of human history.
Asom Tavruli at the top, and the other two are Maleos Maleficarum by Heinrich Kramer, and an unnamed manuscript by Herodotus. What a strange taste for books. Who is it? I'd like to ask you some questions. About what? Different things? Uh, maybe you could help me? Uh, a stranger. Could you come out of the room? No, and I don't want to talk to you. Take a look at my inventory, read some books, do whatever you want. I don't care about those knockoffs. And take a sample of the tongue's map from the desk. That way you can't say- I- Stop talking. I want silence. I don't need it. I already have one. Some people, this stone is the only hope they have left. Anyone found my legs yet? Our beloved priest and friend. Beloved wife and mother, Melita Lavnyak, missing since October 1991 at the entrance of Carcassa. Haven. Last seen on the last day of February, 1993. Young Kadia, missing his love since June. It's barely readable. That must read Sveti Kotar, and that should be the coat of arms of Croatia, the chessboard. strange. I'm not going into the police station. I would risk being taken in for questioning, and they could be conspiring with Hatur.
I should contemplate more about this decision. Its ropes bear some resemblance to Hangman's nooses. Makes sense for a town like this. It's a long road that follows the river uphill and into the forest. I'm not going. I don't know where it would take me. I have no reason to go that way. It's a narrow, shady street that leads somewhere uphill. It's locked. Ivan Kotar, born in 1159, died in 1218. There's a time and place to talk to him. This is not one of them. Father Henry? Henry Eastritor, and you are? Benedict. A fellow man of the cloth, certainly. What gave me away? Your aura. And, of course, the tiny crosses on your sleeves. You were saying your name? Benedict Dohnani. Ah, victorious brother. We finally meet. What can I do for you, brother Benedict? You met my sister? Did I meet her? Who knows? Do I know of her? Yes, as every person, crow, and rat in this town. But how do you know we are relatives? I have infinite power and am highly respected. When word spreads, it reaches my ears first. I have a theory of what happened here, but I'd like to know more so that I can solidify it. You know much. Maybe you can help me. I'm here for you, brother. What can you tell me about the mayor of Svetikotar? Branko Merzum, a lurid creature, far worse than his father ever was. Corrupt, full of sin, and unscrupulous. Gullible as well. He never saw his death coming, even though he knew he was chased by it. <sighs> I was called to bless his soul before the funeral. Not going to. The very thought of it sickens me. Ranko was chased by death? Nermin, his brother, the worst of the Merzo family, worst of all men, an incarnation of evil. Although coming from a Catholic family, from the day of his birth, it was clear there was something dreadfully wrong with him. I don't know him well, nobody does, but everyone knows about his deeds. Chief Norden said he is a moon ghoul. True, he is a Saboran. Some say even the current leader of their cult. He was once incarcerated in the asylum, but managed to escape. 
No one can find him anymore. I guess there is not enough will. It's not about the will to find Nermin. He's just a tiny shadow in a starless sky. People in this town dread things they cannot see or feel. The unknowable. They fear it because it is everywhere God is not. You're talking about the moon ghouls now, right? That is just a name for the weak. Call them by their true name, the Saborans. The Saborans are not unknowable. They are an ancient tribe that glorifies death, diseases, and pain. Cannibals who cultivate morbid rituals as part of their religion. Sekvra. Sekvra? I've heard that name before, somewhere. You heard it because there was a book of the same name, the original copy of which was lost in the 15th century. Yes, it all happened during the Valais Witch Trials. Dark times fell upon that place because of the book. It vanished with its author, a witch by the name of Yadviga Mazrak. You can see the Saborans are not a complete mystery. Things we cannot possibly understand are, my brother, the forces and entities this tribe worships. Only madness and death await those who manage to understand. It is what happened to Ivan Kotar, after all. Let's leave this subject. I cannot possibly recount centuries of their history in the reasonable time I have now. Maybe one day you'll be able to read the pamphlet I've written on them. Maybe. Who was Ranko's father? Fran Merzel. He and our former priest, Yakov, founded the Mara Fasana. I welcomed the decision, but not anymore. Things changed quickly, and the asylum mutated into the same thing it originally tried to uproot. And what would that be? And terror and death for the Catholic community, instead of being a shield that protects it. It was founded with the goal to heal the unfaithful ones, and more importantly, to identify, catch, and execute the subordinates. Now it's a place where our brothers and sisters go and never return from. Healthy individuals full of faith just vanish. Fran had his share of sins, but he founded Marov with sincere intentions to help the town. Little did he know at the time the evil seeds he had planted. Tell me about the asylum's warden. Hatur. As the head of the asylum, I know he is somehow involved in the conspiracy against the Catholics. I'm the only person in this town who openly criticizes him, the chief, and the mayor. In one way or another, they are all acting against God, and possibly fallen under the influence of the Saborids. What interests you about him? My sister's husband went missing after visiting him at the lodge. Nikolai. He was kidnapped. But I feel there is more you want to say. Victoria met with Hatur last night. They talked, and I still can't understand what happened to her. So I was right. This sheds new light on the warden and the tribe. Not so much on her. You think my sister joined the tribe? I do, although I don't know how. Have you seen any changes in her lately? That is a question for her husband. After our father disappeared, I went into monkhood. Since then, I barely see her. When things start to look bad, some people think it's God's fault. Instead of showing him more love, they turn away from him. They don't realize it is only then, when they decide to forget him, that they start to wither their own souls. Sometimes they don't just wither, but rot. Rot until it is too late to get off the path that leads to hell. The warden is meeting with the Saborans. A boy told me. 
What boy? Anton. He saw them meeting more than once. Our protege? I knew he had been sneaking out, just couldn't prove it. He saw Hatur taking Nikolai away to a locality called Klek. I've never visited that hill, but everyone knows what that place is. The boy could be right. Victoria abandoned God. I can feel it in my heart. She did it. The same happens to our aunt. She abandoned God, turned her faith to strange beliefs, and experienced a dreadful death. It doesn't matter what you feel and what I believe. You have to find the whole truth. It is your responsibility. Find your sister and the truth that is hiding with her. I would risk going to the stake if I had to choose whether she is guilty or not. This town has many possible sources of evil. Where should I look for her? Begin with Klek. You might find her there with your brother-in-law, hopefully still alive. What other sources of evil? Everyone, including those who impose the so-called law. Everyone could be evil, even those who claim to be faithful. Keep your eyes open. How come there's nothing in the Vatican's official archives about Sveti Kotar? Because of Ivan Kotar. This town has an open dispute with the Vatican because of him. First, they sent emissaries to execute him. Then they denied the authorities to name this town in his honor. We did what was right, named him a patron saint. The Vatican is run by a mass of hypocrites. It's the Holy See we are talking about here. There's nothing closer to God. Nothing closer to God? Just because they said so centuries again? How can they ignore what Kotar did here? Maybe they are now aware of their own mistakes from the past, but have done absolutely nothing to mend them. You cannot question their decisions. It's like questioning the Bible. Brother, let's agree we don't agree and leave it there. We have other things to worry about right now. I've never heard of a priest talking about the church in this way. Unacceptable. But this, along with other things I've learned until now, might be enough information for Father Imre. What about your dispute with Arsen? Where did you meet that fool? He's my only chance to get across the lake, and... You need his boat to get to Klek. So why didn't he give it to you? He doesn't need it. He's dying due to that vampire of his. His parents are inside the boat. Did you exhume them? Of course I didn't. I ordered the gravekeeper to do it. Arsen and his family are not welcome here anymore. The man is not evil, merely a fool who let evil do upon him. What vampire? Didn't you talk to him? I did. And you didn't notice that hideous dark thing on his neck? No. That fool got himself a parasitic giant worm, a leech he named Hem. That's disgusting. But what is the reason you banned him? I'm telling you, it's Hem. That thing was born and found deep inside the Carcassa forest. It's evil. Can't he just get rid of it? Arson believes Hem was sent to him from God. Can you believe it? He gave it a name and looks to it as his own child. So what now? Anywhere else I could get a boat? He is your only chance. And it seems like you are his only chance as well, if it's not too late. What do you mean? If he accepts to kill Hem, I promise I will think about reintegrating him and his family into our church again. But I need proof. I need to see Hem. Dead. 
How do you expect him to kill the thing he sees as his own child? That is the tricky part. I already tried to persuade him. Now it's your turn. If you succeed, you will get what you want. You will just think about reintegrating him, or you will do it? I'll do it. Immediately after I give you a dead hem. I promise. A man that goes by the name Yakov Prenger, was he a former priest of this church? He preceded me. Why? I heard he went missing. True. He was the warden of the asylum before Ranko became mayor. Then, one night, he just disappeared. Any ideas what happened to him? He was kidnapped by the Saborans and became their prey. The usual for this town. The new warden got him imprisoned because he knew too much? Or maybe that poor blind lady killed him because he couldn't love her the way she loved him. It's a mystery. Was he a good warden? Better than Hatur? Yes. Good? No. He was too soft and hesitant. We could have done so much more regarding the war against the Saborans. Seems to me you're holding a grudge against him. Am I wrong? We never liked each other. He was sent by the Vatican to take my place here. The Vatican, which for centuries never tried to contact anyone in this town, sends a man to take my seat? I could do nothing but step down. Yes, I hated him as much as I hate the Vatican. And I'm grateful to whoever made him disappear. Excuse me. Of course. It's an embalmed priest. Decapitated. His head is laying on a golden plate. The Vatican declared him a traitor. An ally of the evil forces. Can you imagine that? Strange. The sculpture of Jesus is not nailed to the cross, as it should be, but rather just tied up. This door is off limits for you. This feels wrong. The street is a dead end that leads to the cemetery. I'm not comfortable going in a place like that without a good reason. I can see the school from here. I'm not going in. It's the district Arsen told me to stay away from.
I've talked to Father Henry about Yakov. Is it true he was sent by the Vatican? Strange, but true. Why do you think it's strange? Town has dispute with Vatican. They never visit, we never talk to them. Then after so long, they just send a priest? It's nothing uncommon, believe me. What about Henry? He told me he never liked Yakov. What happened between them? Yakov hated him. He told me, Henry is insane. No methods in thinking. He wants everything, and he wants it now. Can you tell me the details? I don't know details. Yakov kept a lot of his troubles from me. He is a secretive man, full of mysteries. Maybe that is one reason why I love him so much. Excuse me. Who keeps a dead tree? Excuse me. It's locked. Only silence and darkness from inside. Which path should I take? It's me again. I talked to Henry about the dispute. And? Is he going to remove the ban? What is the reason he banned you in the first place? I don't know. Could you please step outside so I can see you better? No. It's safer in here. May I come in then? You are not family. Step outside, please. We talked before, and you didn't ask me that. Why is it so important now? Henry gave me something for you. I want to see you under the light while giving it to you. Henry is willing to unban you. Is he? Really? Yes. I will tell you all about our conversation, but you have to come outside. I don't see the point, but if it's going to save my family... Now, what do you have to show me? God, 
That leech thing on his neck is hideous. That is Hem. I never imagined a leech could get so big. Henry was right. The vampire thing is sucking the life out of this poor, naive man. I have to persuade him to give it to me. Arson, we have to talk about your child. You stay away from him. Is this why you wanted me out here? Stay away. Calm down. I'm not going to do anything to him. I promise. What do you want then? How's your health? Are you a doctor now? I've noticed you have trouble breathing, and your skin has no color. Have you had this problem for a long time? I don't know what you are talking about. I feel fine. Didn't you say before you are too weak to board the boat? The love of my child gives me strength and positivity. But I would feel better if I was allowed to attend masses again. And if my house would be blessed as it was before the ban. Where did you find him? I didn't find him. He found me. Years ago, I helped a young detective with a case he was working on. He then showed gratitude by giving me a bucket full of leeches. And there he was. My little Hem. I'm so proud of him. He has grown much since that day. God bless that detective. Henry told me Hem was born in the Carcassa forest. That doesn't mean he is evil. Henry thinks anything that grows or lives in that forest must be tainted. And so out of all the leeches you had, you picked the exact one that became Hem. He picked me. He crawled his way out of the bucket, moved on to my left hand, and then all the way up to my neck, his favorite spot, where he sleeps and eats. It was Detective Mostov? I believe that was his name. Martin. Why? Just curious. How did you help him? We went on a tour of the lake. I showed him some places, but he was mostly interested in the island of the asylum. Did he say why he was interested in the island? Something about a runaway. I don't know. I have an idea how we can solve your dispute with Henry. I'm listening. You have to give me Hem. What? Forget it! Stay away! Remember, I'm in the service of God. You have my word, I won't hurt your child. He will die without my blood! No, he won't, and you know that. How long do you think he can live without you? And be honest with me, it's your family at stake here. Maybe just for one night. This is the only way to get you absolved, but I need guidance from you. What guidance? And you have to keep our little secret to yourself. I don't like this. The plan is to find a leech similar to your hem. For that to work, I'd need your guidance. Where can I find one? Why do you need him then? So I can compare him to his potential clone. Henry seems like a clever man, and surely he remembers Hem's appearance very well. My dear child in the hands of a stranger. I can't do this. As soon as I find his double, I will return Hem safely to you. And then what? I will bring the double to Henry, claiming it's Hem. All you will have to do from then on is hide Hem when you are near Henry. You intend to lie to a man of God? It's for a greater good. God will un Do you want to live? If I die, Hem dies. I cannot let that happen. Your proposal seems like the only way out of this situation. My Dear child, please forgive me. Do not fret. We'll meet again soon. Go now, in the hands of this monk. Farewell. I'll wait for you here. The house is lonely without you.
Where can I find his double? I've never been inside the forest. But Ida told me once she found a place full of leeches. I believe it's where the detective found him. You must go through the wall of crosses and turn left at the crossroads. His brothers and sisters should be there where Holly meets Hanna. Hanna is the river? It is. Keep him safe and get him back as soon as possible. I will. Let me say it again. Beware of the forest. It's easy to get lost in that malignant place. What should I do now? Should I kill him? Or find his double and kill it instead? Whatever I decide, God will understand. Dark times require immoral acts. Excuse me. 